guys, so uh, I've traveled to Italy, that's the first thing. I wasn't actually gonna do a vlog, but I'm in a location called Lake Garda, and I mean, you guys have to see this absolutely amazing. You know, you've got the houses, apartments, the lakeside views, uh, the restaurants. I'm gonna switch the camera off my face, because I know you don't wanna see that. Show you guys what you can look forward to if you come down here. I've been brought down here by my partner, my wonderful partner, Patty. It's wonderful in North Italy. The temperature is approximately 25 degrees at the moment. Nice flowers. Amazing, the sun's out. Everyone's enjoying the weather. Hotel Villa Cortina. Yeah, this is where we're staying, guys. So, so guys, this is an amazing hotel park entrance. It is fabuloso. Oh, the obelisk, monuments. So that could be, what's the one, the sea god? Poseidon. Poseidon the sea, yeah. yeah, that's Poseidon. See, sir, I know who you are. This garden is filled with roses, carnations, tulips, chrysanthemums, lavender, flowers all over the place. But if this is Greek mythology, then that would be the Parthenon. Yeah, probably. Guys, seriously. Lake Garda is incredibly impressive. like a gym there you can see guys as you can see off to the beach just gonna give you a glimpse there's much more of the beach up that way but uh, we've got a few things to get done today before the night approaches so yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with that and then we're gonna head back into the city or the town I should say and then see what we can find in there So guys, anyway, we are on the south side of Lake Garda. This is the view from this side of the lake So as you can see, it's remarkable. Yeah guys, boats, boats, boats As you can see, we have a dock here where all the boats, the yachts, and you know, small boats are you know docking and before they go out to the water. And then we have the castle that is literally around here. We've got amazing restaurants down there. This is the castle, Castello di Sermione. So yeah, we're gonna head inside and see what this castle is all about. Yeah. yeah, well, all of this would have been like uh, the baker, yeah, the clocks, the shoemaker, <laughs> the smith. 
you guys. Come on, let's go. Which way we go? Mm -hmm, let's go. Um, gelateria. 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 <laughs> gelateria. <laughs> Sorry, my lack of uh, Italian shows again. So we are on Via Vittorio Emanuele. Bravo, more. Yeah? Oh, okay. So I got, I got one thing right. So there's all like manner of souvenir shops, Max Bullion. Obviously, fashion, gelato. You guys, look at the look at the look at the gelato. See that gelato here? This is Nicaragua. Mm. This is. Guys, look at this. This is lampone, raspberries, and this is limone, lemon. So, guys, we're just walking down the road, and we're just coming across a few hotels we've got hotel mavino that's a three-star hotel we've got a hotel back here hotel brolia and that is a four-star hotel so you've got a, a fair number of choices all of them are inside the actual compounds of the castello di sermione so restaurants as well as we walk down coming across a fish restaurant here Pes pescatore uh, pizzeria, trattoria, uh, arrocha. So what is that? Is that a seafood? So this is another restaurant that you guys can come and see. Uh, it's a busy area here. Another restaurant here. But this is a wine, food and beer restaurant. Currently closed. These guys put them out of business, obviously. <laughs> Viali Desiderio. Hmm. Not too sure if this is like a hotel or Airbnb kind of location, but it looks quite nice. Nice garden here. Seems to be part of some sort of ancient ruins because obviously you can see the foundations in Monestari, Mones, Monastero Longobardo di San Salvatore, a monastery to uh, someone called San Salvatore. Monastery Longo, Longobardo. Guys, obviously you just have to understand that my Italian is not what it should be, but you know, that's life. See the cat, cat is flexing on me. How's it going, Kat? Kat's not too impressed with my... Uh... <laughs> Kat was not impressed at all. <laughs> uh, Kat was like, bruh, if you don't get your ass... Okay, guys, so this place is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic around here. We have a spa around here. We're not actually going to go into the spa, but, you know, it's like thermal water, all of this stuff. You, you know, you guys can read what they have inside but yeah it's amazing we're gonna walk through the compounds of the castle i've just parked up my ferrari here so you know uh gonna have to watch the meter on that okay guys so we're gonna be entering the castle obviously some of the access will be limited but we'll try to get in as many places as possible this is Obviously, the loading area where uh, the Lannisters uh, brought their cargo and then, you know, took it up here. So we are going inside. See the height. this garden here well maintained well done to the gardener I mean if there was a battle I'd be up there commanding the troops you know whilst we have Patty beside me in the tower with her bow and arrow as an archer 
She wouldn't be that accurate. She'd probably shoot herself. This is the exterior wall. There's a drawbridge on the other side of this wall as well. So, Okay, guys, so we have access to the castle and this is it. So we have a black cat over here. I love cats, so just have to... I don't want to get too close. It might be a wild feral cat. You can see all the small features within this castle area. I mean, I'm going to try to identify as many of them. Upstairs here, we have ladies' toilet. I was actually trying to find my way upstairs here, but it's the ladies' toilet, so yeah, I can't go there. And yeah, we are going to possibly try to get up these stairs, see what's up there. We're gonna go in this courtyard area here. As you can see, there's a few posters. So guys, we have actually traveled to the top of the castle tower, the main tower um, for Castello di Sermione. So this is the view from the top. As you can see, the rest of the town, the hotel that we're staying at over there and souvenir shops, gelato places, restaurants, all amassed within this area here. So from the seafront, you can see almost like the docks where the ships would have come in, the merchant ships. Um, and then obviously this is the rest of Lake Garda in all its magnificence.